help me understand. I'm, a, I'm very much a layman myself in this area. Is there enough enough research, a body of research, to to really design any kind of quantitative risk assessment? I mean, uh, in, a, in a broad sense. I mean, are we at that point yet? And it's it's, it's a relatively new industry. So I, I'm not necessarily an expert on on, on risk assessment. I'm more of an expert on water resources. Um, but I think that it's difficult in the sense of some of my earlier comments. Uh, conditions vary from location to location. And so if you're, doing, if you're getting, for example, results in pavilion, whether they're good or not, um, they may or may not be relevant at all to what's happening in New York or Pennsylvania, for that matter. Um, and I, so I think it's difficult because conditions change over time. And uh, what I would say is that I'm in support of the more study and research and data that we can get on these questions, the better, because I think we will hopefully be able to identify whether or not there are some of these shared risks that might be relevant everywhere, regardless of what the conditions are, um, and that we might have a better sense of when these conditions change, are there, uh, it, how do conditions change from state to state or from play to play that might be relevant for, for what the risks and the benefits might be? Thank you. Dr. Hoffman, would you have anything to say about the, the, the state or the progress we've made in understanding uh, hydraulic factoring to the point that we can really establish quantitative risk assessment evaluations? I would tend to agree with uh, Dr. Ron on this, this point that we are relatively early in terms of the peer-reviewed literature, which we rely upon quite heavily for uh, conducting uh, quantitative, rigorous quantitative risk assessments. Um, there is new information that has been forthcoming. We are, as we speak, uh, pulling together a lot of information that will be very informative. But um, again, the quantitative risk assessment is is uh, re relying upon quite a quite an amount of information. And we're, in my perspective, at least, we're not quite there yet. So, you would was it fair to say that our knowledge is fairly formative at this point? I mean, we, as far as what we what we know about hydraulic fracturing. It's, well, I think there's many things we, we do know about hydraulic fracturing with respect to the t technology, uh, with respect to um, the geology and so forth, a lot of the technical issues that we're in fact looking at. But in terms of putting the information together to answer the types of questions that we're asking, I would say we still are in a developing stage. Thank you. Dr. Uh, Dr. Zombach? I would just uh, comment that uh, so the, the Science Advisory Board is providing peer review for this study. And to Chairman Stewart's uh, point on, on risk assessment and, and yours, uh, this was a question that was the, the question of how far to go in risk assessment was a question that was raised in both the review of the study plan and in the consultation uh, for the uh, progress report. And uh, our members of the panel, both panels, uh, queried the uh, ORD uh, project leaders about that. Uh, and I would note that the, the study is being conducted in a risk framework. Uh, there's not performance of a quantitative risk assessment. That's really a site-specific activity. Mm -hmm. But in terms of understanding the sources, understanding the transport that could occur from the sources, uh, understanding potential impacts, that's all in a risk assessment framework. Our panel members uh, ask very pointed questions about that of the, of the uh, Office of Research and Development. And they committed to, uh, in the final report, uh, putting the various components of the study in a risk framework. Uh, uh, and, uh, but that won't be a quantitative risk assessment. But uh, I would argue the entire study is in a risk framework. And that will, uh, the uh, ORD is committed to uh, make that uh, clear in the, in the final report. All right, thank you.